individual photos of Orion and they were done with an 80 millimeter acromat at a focal length of 400 millimeters. The uh, ISO was 3200 exposure time 7 seconds. So I put all those into uh, Photoshop and converted them to TIFF files. And I'll show you one of the individual files. They all look pretty much the same. You can see the uh, halos from the chromatic aberration. If I go to the uh, curves now and try to boost this, I'll bring it up. You can see it gets all blowed out and everything. Let's reset that. Now I'm going to put them into uh, Deep Sky Stacker. So I went to uh, Deep Sky Stacker, went to Open Picture Files. I got all 12 of my exposures here. Then I'm going to go to uh, Register Stack or Check Pictures. average combination method click OK go to advanced 18% compute the number of detected stars this is going to take a while so I'm going to come back so I'm showing 311 stars See that number here. I've got reduced the noise by using a median filter check. Click OK. Now this really will take a while, so I'll come back when this is done. So when Deep Sky Stacker is complete, you should have an image that looks similar to this. The histogram that looks similar to this. If you move your cursor to any part of the photograph, you'll see an image review in the corner. What I want to do is click Link Settings, grab the middle bar here, or triangle, slider, whatever you want to call it. Move the entire stack over about to here. And then click apply. Now keep in mind this is just 12 7 second untracked exposures at 3200 ISO with a 400 millimeter focal length, 80 millimeter achromatic telescope. Not a very expensive setup. The more, um, the more you stack, the, uh, the better your results. You can see I've got quite a bit more um, detail here from the nebula, the luminosity of it. And, um, I didn't use dark frames for simplicity, I just had high ISO noise reduction on the camera and on, on the settings. Nothing fancy, nothing difficult. And when this is finished, I'll, uh, I'll load it into Photoshop and I'll do a side-by-side -side of, of an individual frame that I showed you in this see uh, just 
how good of a program Deep Sky Stacker is and, uh, and what it can do for you with multiple exposures. Okay, so here's one of the original 12 images. Here's the one processed in Deep Sky Stacker. I can make adjustments to the uh, curve to or from there and uh, play with the uh, contrast and that sort of thing. And it's got a lot more to work with here than what I started with initially. See that there's a huge difference there in the two. And the more exposures you stack, the more detail you're going to bring out. I'm showing you this. This is very simple and uh, non-detailed way to, to get involved with stacking. And from there, you can you can make your own modifications to the luminance channels and that sort of thing. Do your own contrast enhancements and and, and get really involved with it and toy with it and experiment and find the settings that you like. But this just is here to serve as an example of uh, of the difference now. And I really hope that it encourages you to. Uh, to get involved with stacking your photographs and try it for yourself and then you get the hang of, of, of this simple method then you can start using dark and bias frames and that sort of thing and and by then you should have a really good idea of how all this works and you do a little research and maybe read a little bit and you'll you'll definitely get a better understanding of it and then you can start moving into uh, more advanced techniques. So these techniques that I showed you are like at the very bottom. They're um, not even considered amateur. I mean anybody can do this. This is not uh, out of reach. And um, I would love to see your results. And I hope you uh, have a great time and wish you the best of luck. I hope this was encouraging and um, to everyone clear skies.